Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew After Dark. Yay. Where's the After Dark? Oh, it's not there. What After Dark? Oh, no. no. Let's turn that Get on. Get the After Dark on. Boom. Yay. After Dark. Yay. And uh, to continue with the theme of the 40th anniversary yep. of the Commodore 64, we're going to be playing a Commodore 64 game, an a After retro Dark. Game. A retro game, Impossible long Mission no by Epix. Yeah, yeah, long time no see. Oh, God. We're back. Uh, Sumerian lives. Ah. <laughs> President Aragorn. Oh, my goodness. I don't know that name. You've changed it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is a fun game, and it is Tanya's favorite. It is my favorite game. Commodore 64 game. I think because it was one of the few games I actually, like... Finished? dedicated time to and finished it yeah. and then when i told people they were like you finished it and and, and there was like this air of like wow you finished this crazy it's game it's pretty impressive it's it's challenging there's puzzles there's action it's a platformer uh, yeah and i in particular remember that summer i was 10 when i did it i 10 maybe even older than that actually and I just had like a crappy summer and I had nothing planned and no camps and I just stayed home and played an impossible mission the whole summer. So I, I I made it to the end. I think I beat it at least three times. Um but I was fourth. playing it. Let's go for four. Uh we'll see. But uh no, it's one of my favorite games from my childhood, so Yeah, it came yeah. out in nineteen eighty four and uh has some of the earliest speech yes. in a game. My favorite speech. Yes. I, I've always talked about having it as my ringtone on my phone. People don't do that so much anymore. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, ringtones are very old. Um, so I read a story about the speech. I mean, we should get this going. Yeah. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you about the story about the speech. Okay. Um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Oh, yes. Let's do this first. Uh, El Nefar, Arkham Age, Arms Guard Coder, Atari 8800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Ooh. Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Burl Lives, Cafe Man 2D, Carlos Majurga, Charles and Check, Charles Whelan, Coconut A1, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dianoid, Danny VC, Drexel, Dark Moose Cows, Moose Cows? Doferman, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Osha Rapper, Johnny Nitro, Johnny WC, Cavuto, JRM, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Kev Kelly, Lord He Dead. Mark Yannis, Mark Space Inc., Mick Muse, Mike Sol, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarnwood, Mr. Fix, Pack Rap, VG, Koog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Render Ghost, Spendless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Rod Castler, Six Sweets, Made to Be, Spice, Rest, Ramirez, The D Train, The Welshman, 89, Tiki Dan K, TM Vance, Trek MD, 2600, X Can X. And if you don't see your name on there, and it should be, make sure you hit subscribe again. Mm -hmm. And if you want to be on that, just hit subscribe as well. It's free with Amazon Prime. Link it up, and it's free. Um, yeah, we're going to play Impossible Mission. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's get it going. So we can, uh, yeah, don't waste too much time. Okay. Um, so get, I'll right, put in my uh, Ultimate 2 cartridge, which I have it loaded on there. Nice. I'm going to switch over to that. Tanya will make the impossible. Possible. possible. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Fast load! Look at that screen! Woo! -hoo. Yeah. Load that up. Did you have a fast load cartridge? No. Oh, it made things much better. I didn't have any cartridges. I think everything was off <laughs> disk. Um, nice. It, you put it in, and a uh, Epics made a routine that they had in their games on their discs that oh. made things load like. Oh, 20 or 30 times yeah, or yeah, 40 not, times faster. Shh, and went, you're sitting there forever. It went tick, 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 and it's done. Yeah. <laughs> but everything else would take a million years. Yeah. Yep. There we go. What's going on? Why is it black? Floating. Turn it up. Stay a while. Stay forever. forever. Okay, Tanya has seven hours to complete this game. <laughs> seven hours. Seven hours. Give or take. If you die, it adds time. But we will explain the rules of this game if you have not played it before. Yeah. Or don't know anything about it. Um, it's made by Dennis Caswell. Um, let me talk about the, um, the voice for a second. Oh, the voice is so super cool. So they went to a company that did a voice oh sorry i have to be quiet during this 
No, I'm just going to get one. Good enough. I don't oh, like to waste Patoko time. Patoko says Tanya has talent on games. <laughs> she does. She's good at puzzle uh, games. And this is like a means to an end to have a puzzle to play on this game. Um, so the the developers went to a company. I, I, I don't have this in front of me. I can't remember what company it is. But they went to the company and said, hey, we need a voice. And they're like, okay, uh, here's the script. And they sent back, you know, here here's... Here's a, a test voice for it. Mm. And they said, sorry about it. It's a really over the top and silly. And and they went, no, it's perfect. <laughs> we want it exactly that way. So they kept the over the, over the top mm. first draft voice for the game. Oh. First step. Now I'll get that from the bottom. <laughs> uh, Impossible Mission is a video game originally written for the Commodore 64. So this is the original version. Mm. Um, it wasn't on another system first and then ported. This is the original version. By Dennis Caswell and public by, published by Epix, which made a lot of great games. In 1984, the game features a variety of gameplay mechanics from... <gasps> what are you doing? No, I just didn't step far enough. A variety of gameplay mechanics from platform and adventure games and includes digitized speech, Impossible Mission, which casts the player in the role of a secret agent infiltrating an enemy stronghold, is widely considered one of the best games for several platforms. This is like considered one of the best games ever. Oh, it's fantastic. It is fantastic. From 1985 to 1988, the game was released for Apple II, Atari 7800, ZX Spectrum, Acorn Electron, BBC Micro, Amstrad, CPC, and Master System. Uh, so a little fact about the Atari 7800 version, it's impossible to win. It lives up to its name. Mm -hmm. uh, the Atari 7800 version of Impossible Mission actually is impossible in that it is completely impossible to finish the game. Mm. A bug in the game's code made it so that some of the puzzle pieces you need to complete the game are placed behind the computer terminals. Unfortunately, it's impossible to search computer terminals, Yeah. as attempting to do so will access them instead of searching. The bug was fixed in the PAL releases of the game. So, let's read a little bit more about a possible mission, because we have at least half an hour <laughs> for this for uh, one game. I've already uh, died a couple of times, so probably more than half an hour. Thank you. Yeah. Uh... Let's see. The player takes the role of a secret agent who must stop an evil genius, Professor Elvin Adam Bender, who is believed to be tampering with national security computers. The player races against the clock to reassemble and decrypt the password to Adam Bender's control room while avoiding deadly robots. Password pieces are found by searching rooms, uh, furniture in the rooms, and you know, tape drives. And um, there's a debatable one. I'm gonna. Don't don't say what you think it is. And oh yeah, no no, we'll bring it up. We'll bring I it up. I won't say what I think it is. We'll ask the. I didn't chat. realize this was a tape machine either. It's oh, so funny because. Hundred um, percent. There's two circular things. I just assumed it was like a Coke machine. It kind of looks like a vending machine. <laughs> As a child, it looked like a vending machine to but, me. <laughs> but I think it's a hundred percent a tape machine. That one. Yeah. Uh, so that blue thing on the third platform. <laughs> What does everybody think that blue thing is beside the computer? And then we'll tell you what Tanya thinks it is. I'll tell you what I think it is. And remember, uh, yeah, I played this game as a child. So did I. Oh, I didn't play as a child. Tanya's much younger than I am. Right? Yes. <laughs> um, oh, people have different uh, opinions. They're probably right. Oh, there's two different guesses. Oh, he's happy, he's but he zappy. won't run at you. Thank goodness. Uh, when searching, the player can also reset all the movable platforms and freeze enemy robots for a limited time. The game also features similar rewards for completing bonus puzzles. Impossible mission enemies include two types of enemies. The first uh, are the robots, which you see here. They have a cylindrical main body. Their bodies are electrified, and some are able to use a short-range death ray, which you can see all over the place. They love using it. There's always nothing there. Uh, uh, some are stationary, 
Others move in patterns, and others specifically hunt the player. Like that one. Which doesn't have a death ray. Oh, that one just going back and forth? Oh, it's just going back and forth. They all have different patterns. Like, there's a variety of them. Ones that don't notice you. Ones that do notice you. Ones that check over their shoulder. Ones that... <sighs> damn, one, that zappy's too fast. He's so fast, you can time it, but I'm a little out of... Uh... Um, some actually have to see the player, others know where the player is at all times. Second enemy is a hovering electrified ball. And then it ah, says, I love that ball. most so of funny. these chase the player, citation needed. <laughs> Somebody should just delete that. There's no point in even saying that. Most of these chase the player? Uh, most of what? Most of the black balls? All the black balls chase the player. No. No, there's a figure eight one. Oh, that's true. Well, I would say most of them do chase the player then. I thought they are talking about the robots. I'm like, well, I don't know about that. So, two people said mainframe. Oh, three. Uh, two people said cigarette machine. One said a candy machine. And uh, somebody said a chip printer, whatever they're called. Oh, you mean like, um, oh, like an actual computer chip printer? Was he zappy? Not taking the risk. No, he's not zapping. I thought it was a cigarette vending machine. And what did you think it was? I thought it was a piano. <laughs> it's definitely not a piano. It was a piano. That's what I thought when I was a kid. Yeah. I was like, it kind of looks like a piano. So all this is kind of old technology. So I, I, It is old tech. <laughs> I think the mainframe might be right. Or a mini computer, like you know, either or, a computer, a large computer, but they also have small, well, like, I thought it was a cigarette machine because it has a little, a little coin slot and a bill, place for bill. Is it a and bill? A, and a place for a coin slot and then a change machine right beneath it. And then there's all the cigarettes you can choose. And that's what they look like. They were, they were massive like that. Yeah, they had... Because they held they, tons of they cigarettes. Have, they had, like, round pull things, though. So that's well, why I thought it was a piano. There's only so much detail. It it could be a piano. But I most of this stuff is electronics. So I think it's actually a mainframe. That makes the most sense. Because there's printers there. There's a computer. There's another type of sideways computer. Mm -hmm. Cigarette machines, I remember, weren't that tall. Like no, that, it seems big for a cigarette that machine. Is, that is pretty tall. That is true. Oh, he's zappy. Yeah, but, but he he's going in that though. direction. Let's meet, let me search the uh, piano. <laughs> the player has six hours, not seven, sorry. Six, uh, six hours okay. of game time to collect 36 puzzle pieces. Every time a player dies, 10 36. minutes. Oh my God. 10 minutes are deducted from the total time. So you have um, the ability to die six, 36 times. Well, less, because time is actually ticking at the same time. Um, the puzzle pieces are assembled in groups of four. The puzzle pieces overlap, so three pieces can be assembled before the player realizes he must start over. He. Gendered Wikipedia page. It is a he. It's uh, a he. It said the player. The player is a he. That you would, He wouldn't call himself a player. Okay, I need you to, to make a mental note of this. Where uh, that is. Third column, bottom. That's okay, easy. thank you. Uh, gonna be um, pieces may be in the wrong orientation, and the player may have to use the horizontal or vertical mirror images. Additionally, the puzzle pieces are randomized mm -hmm. in every game. Yeah, they are. But you get all 36. You thought there were some that weren't used? Ah, you oh. zapped me. Oh, tricky. That is. No. <laughs> Can you increase this oh, game sound a bit? Well, wait, I am talking the whole time, but I can turn it up. It is a little low. Yeah, it's not a very loud game, I find. What am I doing? Okay, turn it up a little bit. It should be good. A little touch more. There we go. Um, a completed puzzle. In my Destroy him, my robots. A completed puzzle forms a nine-letter password, which lets the player reach Professor Adam Bender. And that's the room. That's yeah. the room. You, you don't need to type in 
the password. It's you just have to get the password, right? Yep. Oh, much better. I didn't realize there was sound. Oh, sorry. It must have been really quiet. In addition, we have audio ducking. So when I'm talking, the sound, the game sounds go down. I don't know about you, but I always hide my puzzle pieces in the in the bathroom. Always in the toilet. In the specifically. toilet. Specifically. Very specifically the toilet. Yeah. Do the left side, then do the right side. Make sure the ball doesn't get down to you. Yep. Cool that it has speech. I didn't know Stephen Hawking did voiceover work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did every word before he died. He let no. Yeah. Uh, Fun fact: He uh, never wanted to upgrade his voice because really? he just he felt that was his voice. He used it for so long. I understand that. He thought that if he did it, changed his voice, people would be like, "Well, that's not your voice. That's not what you sound like." Even though there was much better speech synthesizers, right? And it makes sense. Everybody, even now, people say, that's Stephen Hawking's voice. No. What are you doing? No, I, I meant to jump. Why don't you go on the other side? Uh, the zappy guy was in there. No, oh. too close. Uh, it is doable. Or I could just be really lazy. The first element of the game to be created was the player character's animations, which designer Dennis Caswell lifted from a library book about its athletics. Um... This must have been done before the summer and winter games and world games because they used the same animations for the flipping yeah. and the gymnastics events in uh, summer games. Oh, really? Yeah. Because Epix did, did those games. Mm, that makes sense. Uh, it doesn't say that here, though. Caswell recalled, I animated the somersault before I had a clear idea how it would be used. I included it because the animations were there for the taking. Caswell cites Rogue as his inspiration for the randomized room layout. Rogue is so good. Someone should make Rogue for the 7800, but I don't know if it would translate well because there's so many keyboard presses you need to do. So it's probably pointless making it for a console. Because you'd have to use such a big menu system. It just wouldn't work very well. I guess you could flip to another screen and then select from like a screen full of uh, commands to use. But that would be slow and... Oof, that's bad. A JAG keypad? No, there's lots of key presses. Lots. It's better on a computer system. This guy's zappy. Sure looks zappy. Luckily you don't have to deal with them. Until later. Let me go back up. The bookcases are always the worst. Like, as you would expect, they take longer to search. And you have to look through all the books. The bookcases and the uh, desks. Always terrible. Um, and uh, also, the electronic game Simon as his inspiration for the musical checkerboard puzzles. Some ceilings are too low to jump over. Like that ceiling and the bottom ceiling. Um, the hovering balls were inspired by the rover security guard from the Prisoner TV series. You never saw that series, did you? No, but I... No, I did, actually. Did I've seen oh, okay. it some. It's, it's a bouncing ball on the beach that retrieved the, uh, yeah. the guy who was trapped Try, there. Trying to uh, escape, it's right? It's a bizarre TV show. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're going to have to go to that one below. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to make it happen. Okay. there. Mr. Zappy. Yeah, you have to wait till he's way back, then jump, then jump him again, mm. and then jump. Jump, jump, jump. They got Ultima on the NES. Oh, yeah, if they can do Ultima on the NES. How did they do <laughs> Ultima on the NES? Was there a menu system? I never played it. I think I have it. Maybe I didn't buy it, because I thought it would be terrible. Nope, he's a friendly robot. Did they have a menu system on the Ultima, on NES, where you just like scroll through it? Um, the Commodore 64 version uh, features the early use of digitized speech. Another visitor, stay a while, stay forever, destroy my robots. Here's the story right here. 
The digitized speech was provided uh, by the company Electronic Speech Systems, who drastically raised their prices after Impossible Mission, Impossible Mission became a successful test case. Epics did not deal with ESS again as a result. <laughs> Too expensive. Um, I never met the performer, but when I supplied the script to the representative from ESS, I told him I had in mind a 50-ish English, 50-ish year old English guy, thinking of the sort of an arch villain James Bond might encounter. I was told they just happened to have such a person on their staff. When I was given the initial recording, the ESS guy was apologetic about being a touch hammy, but I thought the overacting was amusing and appropriate, and they were left as is. The game's title was one of the last elements to be finished. According to Caswell, the choice of a name was delayed as long as possible. An impossible mission was more of a resorted to than chosen. It was at least somewhat descriptive, and an obvious allusion to Mission Impossible was expedient to the, to the extent that both the game and the TV show involved high-tech intrigue. So what she used right there was to... Uh, it's a freezing, a robot freezer. Don't and that was good because there was a puzzle piece there. Yes. There there are a couple I've missed, and you kind of do a little bit of hedging your bets, because some things are quite hard to... Um... It's uh, So in terms of Ultima on the NES, it's not bad. They're actually pretty clever about the conversations, in particular, VR Pocock says. Instead of typing keywords, you learn them after someone mentions them, and then they appear on the menu. Okay. Ooh, he's happy, but he's... he jumped. No! Ah. It wouldn't go up! Ah. Win the joystick. No, well, it didn't go up. <laughs> so, the sequel, Impossible Mission 2, followed in 1988. Oh, that was bad. Death. Keep going. No, 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 no. It's, that is, they're terrible deaths. Shouldn't be making those mistakes. Uh, it further complicated the quest with new traps and items. Oh Keep forgetting that guy's zappy. It's like All right. Half an hour there, gone. Yeah, not one great. One twelfth of your time not in one great. room. Not great. Destroy him, my robot. The game Electrocop was rumored to have started as a sequel to Impossible Mission, but this has not been substantiated. In 1994, Impossible Mission 2025 was released for the Amiga. <laughs> That's the first, first, uh, um... Falling death? Falling, was it? I don't know. Yes, it was. This guy finna at me. No, I can't, can't go up. There we go. I'm worried. Only one way to really find out. It's true. Uh, it kept the same idea as previous games and mainly featured updated graphics and audio, also allowing the player to choose among three different characters. The game also contains the Commodore 64 version of Impossible Mission. Developer System 3 revamped Impossible Mission for the Sony PSP, Nintendo DS, and the Wii. And this came out in the Wii? Did it? And the DS. Um, was ex in the US, the Nintendo DS version was released exclusively at GameStop stores by Codemasters, which, similar to the Amiga sequel, included a filter for graphics and audio to recreate the C64 original of Impossible Mission in terms of look and sound, albeit slightly remastered. And the Wii version was released in March 2008. Actually, I think we have the Wii version. We might. I think we're overplayed. Sure, this isn't the same. No, it's not the same. <laughs> uh, the revamped version was later ported to the Nintendo Switch in 2019. Really? This game is on a current game system. Wow. That's how popular this game is. RC70 says, yeah, I'd have remembered that scream if you did it before. I'd forgotten about it. Instant flashbacks. Oh, yeah. Uh, flashbacks. More candy. More candy. Candy, 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 candy. candy. I do like the candy machines. Okay. Some of my favorite Commodore 64 games. Yes. Toy Bazaar um, by Activision. Uh, Toy Bazaar, okay. Um, it's a single room platformer game where you had to finish each room and you go to the next one. And uh, you had to feed all the toys in the game. 
and uh, by by uh, disabling them and then running over them. And you got little coffee breaks, which uh, give you power ups. And there's this person chasing you the whole yeah. time. It was very very cool. Um, very hard. But I played the hell of it. Um, Bubble Bobble. Played the hell out of that in C64. Um, this is very VHZC style, but with the zapping. Doesn't have any searching in his games though. No. He does have a lot of platformers, VHZC does. Uh, Beachhead 1 and 2. Did you ever play those? Maybe not. And also, uh, Raid Over Moscow, which was made by the same company. All very good games. Multi, multi level screen games, and each, each level was completely different. Is there a name for that style of animation? I've seen it quite a bit. Rotoscoped would be the proper name for it. Where you take something, it's used in animation too, where you take something in real life and um, translate it by either you know drawing over it or recreating it in pixel form so that it looks very fluid and very human-like. And um, Disney was a very early pioneer of rotoscoping. Um, so you see a lot of their early 2D uh, cartoons, mm. especially feature films. They had very fluid movement. Yes, yes. So they would film actors and actresses before um, the cartoon was done and get them to do the motions for, for the cartoon or the movie and uh, then trace over them. And there's lots of videos on YouTube showing how they actually recycled a lot of those. Oh, oh that's a very bad move. Stupid. <laughs> Tower of Rubble uh, is Deanoid, if I recall well, and of course it has very good animation. Yes, Tower of Rubble does. Um, Tower of Rubble was a port, so somebody, it, somebody else did that animation, but that had a lot of frames of animation, and I can't remember if... No, I'm thinking of Prince in Persia, where the animator got his brother to do all the movements and, and filmed him. Oh, really? Yeah. Rotoscoping was also used on Tron, coloring the characters when they were in the digital world. Oh, nice. RC70 says, oh cool, I can't believe you knew the answer to that. <laughs> Uh, I know a bit about film stuff, so that's kind of in the film realm of things. Is that Zappy? Is that a Zappy yeah, we'll dude? see. Well, it's, it's good he's fast the other way, not that way. Well, actually, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, Tower Rubble is probably... What was I... We're, we're looking at animation. I think Tower of Rubble is probably a game that has the most animated frames of any character in any uh, Atari 2600 game. No. Karatika was the brother story, no. I guess. Oh yes, it would have been Karatika because that's earlier than Prince of Persia. Who says Karatika and who says Karatika? Karatika. Well, you think Karate is Karatika, I guess. Karate, Karatika. But it would be, how is it pronounced? How would it be pronounced in Japanese? It probably wouldn't be pronounced either of those ways. Karatika, ra te ka Karateka. Whoa, that was close. Is it Tay or T? Probably oh, Tay. God. Did you use the wrong one? No, I just used the lift platform one twice, but that's oh, okay. Oh, no. Ka, ra, te, ka. T or T? It's <laughs> gonna come back to life. It's okay. Anything around here? No, of course so, not. Two more columns.
Right for Spanish, te. <laughs> Karateka. Karateka. Here's yeah, the figure see. eight, dude. There's space, safe spaces, so it's not too bad. That guy was pretty stunned. Until he got down there. Yeah, it's interesting. They have lots of different varieties of movements and combinations. Sleepy robots. I think Kramer's pronunciation Tay. Kramer? Uh, that would be the right for Japanese as well. Karateka. Do two jumps in that time, I think? We have to. No. Oh, That's okay. Oh, I see. That's ba, cool. autocorrect. I know, I've, I know you can get out of there. Oh, when Kramer gone. takes karate. Oh, okay, yeah. Karate. With those little kids. <laughs> So she has to put them in ascending order of tone. Yeah, and you can do it multiple times and you get... Go up to... What did you get on that other one? 19? Oh, <laughs> no, this one I think goes to 7 or 8. But, um, oh, and then just stops? Yeah, but oh, okay. it gives you the extra like lifts and things like that, but you don't necessarily need it. It's good to do like one or two. Now, those are speakers. This is more a living room set. Is it stuck, though? anything in these ones. No. Oh, easy. Ah, no, there's one there. Nice big chunky speakers. Ah. Whoa, ho, ho, scary. Is he fast that way? Good. Okay. Nope. I don't think I can. Get over there. No. Oh, I closer. think I need to freeze it. Oh, I'm running out of time. Yeah. Is that the Pixar lamp? I think so. It might be. That's where they got it from. Generic. Sometimes the freezing is just... And there was nothing there. What a waste. <sighs> Go back to the what keyboard. What a waste. How much time? Yeah, I've got to six. So but it's still half my time. At? Three? Okay. Don't die. Don't die anymore. This one's hard. If I recall. Yeah. Top left and then bottom right. Both of those are really hard. I think those are both... Buzz. Oh, you got a sleepy one. Buzz sleepies. I don't want to lose time here. Gonna freeze him. Yes, I am. Good choice. I think you only get one, though. No. You're going to be able to get two in the same right amount no, of time? No, no, no. I, I would hurry, need hurry. two. You'll need to use two? I'll need to use two, I think. Okay. I think so, yeah, too. Puzzle piece. <laughs> oh no! I shouldn't have done that. That's fine. Oh, oh, oh well. back to the keyboard. No, nope. nope. forget it. <gasps> now I have to memorize that one. No, I just know there's one there. Have you missed any other ones? I've missed one on the oh, far end. Right. No, you never get them all. You Listen. never get them all. Yeah, but you might need it. You I might. literally cannot win the game. Uh, yeah. If I screwed up. Yes. If you screwed up. Yeah, you literally cannot win the game. I have to keep track of that one. That's a candy machine. That is a candy machine. Why would they have a different candy machine? Oh my god, that was awesome. <laughs> RC70 says, I don't think I've ever made it this far in the game. I only remember laughing at voices, especially the screen. I don't know if I can. Ah, uh, no. What did you just do? No, I wanted to get closer to the gym, but I don't think you can. I think I do have to. Oh, get out Oh, to jump left. Yeah. You don't have... No. Oh, you don't have no, any stuff. I don't have any. Okay, well, hmm. Keep track. Keep more of them. The one? Jump onto the edge. I guess not. So. No, uh, it, the robots have different movements, so. So, wait. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, the top. seven, yeah. top. That one at the top there, yeah. But the next one down and to the left was the other one you couldn't get? Yeah. It's fast. Should have gone to that keyboard and type some more in. Haha. Uh -huh. Careful then. Oh, Got kind of a low fi beat going on. Yeah, it does. There's never two segments of elevator, is there? On the same vertical strip? Like, you don't have to go around. You can do that. There's no way you can get over that level. Oh, you can't. Damn it. You're losing so much time! It happens. Being risky. You still don't have any. Uh. You're so good at those patterns, and yet you don't get them. And they're both going at you. So I can't. No, I can't. Um, I thought maybe he was moving slow enough. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Oh. Well, there's always a couple you miss. Um. This is the last column? It yep. is. There's lots of elevator, uh, elevators in this one. I should probably see how many puzzle pieces I actually have. Do you need more, for sure. Oh, I, ne I didn't say I don't. I'm just saying I should see how many are. He scared you. You kind of memorize them after a while. They're always the same? No, no, they have different... No, I still I still don't have any. You um, still don't have any? <laughs> Ooh, take that elevator down. Let's so get back up. Yeah. You could do that a little bit at a time. Oh, God. It's pretty... Get out! <laughs> it's very short, so... Yeah. Don't take long. Nope. Nothing there, of course. Is that a zappy guy? Oh no. I know I can't. You have to do the same thing there. Yes, I am. What? No, just jump over that robot down there. What are you talking about? He zaps. I know. Okay. Get over! Get <gasps> Wasn't over! Not over enough. Be on the platform. Oh my god, you're it's running out of time. Very, very, very tight. Here. You still don't have any. No. <laughs> you haven't gone any. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, no, I've gotten some. I just don't RC7, know. RC7, he said he jumped too. Oh, eighth <sighs> bottom. Destroy him, my robot. Search that bathtub. Search that toilet. Get, get down. Relax. You're making it worse by saying that. Freaking me out. You need to calm down. <laughs> need to take the chill pills that the cats have. Yes. They're all uh, splayed out over there. It's not only the city. 
there's a garbage can you have to search to. <laughs> oh, garbage cans are the worst. at all. There we go. That guy's just facing the wall. <laughs> <laughs> he's like staring at the wall. It's like, what's going on? He's he giving up. He ran out of batteries. He, he's giving up. Yeah, he's like, uh, they don't pay me enough. Oh, you would have zapped you by now. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It's not, I, I don't want to move too fast and run into him. Isn't this the same design as another one that you... It's very similar. Ugh, it's that guy is a problem. Is he zappy? No, he's not. But he's fast. No, he's gonna zap. You gonna zap? No, he didn't. Nope, he's a problem. Fast though. Uh, I'm sure I can get that. You're gonna jump up from there. Disable these robots. And he comes rushing back. Yeah, he's a rusher. Yeah. Nope. As soon as he sees you. I'm skipping them. So... I'm gonna finish what I can, see how many puzzle pieces I have. Okay, I'm at the end. Uh, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-three, one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty-three, one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, 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 thirty-two, thirty-three,
Yay! Oh, you got a lift. Boo. <laughs> so she got an A. One of the nine. And then it erases those it does. from your list. So you don't so. have to... I would do that chunky one there at the top. No. Uh, That's very distinct. It takes a lot of space up. RC70 says, wow, that's crazy. I definitely never played this part of the game. Usually you don't do it till the very end because there's no point. Because you literally have to have all 36 pieces because you cannot, can't win without it. Hmm. I mean, I don't necessarily want to waste a lot of time doing this, but you're going to have to do it anyway. No, you can get snoozes. It's, it's not a waste. It's true. Uh, which one? Unless you're working on puzzles that can't be completed. That's the only problem. Are those the same? Yeah, they are. Same piece. What? How many, how many codes are there? I know, nine. Nine. Well, that's a good one, that top left. Because then you're just looking for two stripes. And it's not necessarily two stripes. Not necessarily, but... That's a good sturdy piece. No. No. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of duplicates. And this is kind of a cool mini game in itself. <laughs> It is. Hmm. Those pieces go together. No. That doesn't go, I don't think. Okay, let's... Uh, this guy... Nope. What other games did I play? I played all the Ultimas up to four. Played five a little bit on my C64. Finished one through three, almost finished four. I should uh, finish that one day. <laughs> <laughs> Still have all my notes from the 80s. So I can just pick it up right where I left off. Uh, mm. Spy vs. Spy. All the different iterations of that. I did like that game. It's a very silly and simple game, but... Did enjoy it. Especially all the different traps you could lay. Nope. Damn. Uh. What other games did I play a lot? Oh, Spelunker. Played that a lot. It's not super great at it, but it was a lot of fun. It had such detailed graphics. Um, oh, yeah, mm. Bruce Lee as well. Oh, my God, I played the hell out of Bruce Lee. I did win that one. Was there a game, Z64, where you throw knives at each other across a cliff? Yes, that was Beachhead 2, if I remember correctly. One or two, but I think it was two. And that was the last part of Beachhead 2. You were facing the final boss. And it would take a little bit to throw the knives and you couldn't move while you were doing it. So what you would do 
is anticipate when they were going to throw the knives, throw yours first, and then while they were throwing it, they were disabled and you would hit them. Really, really good game. But that was the last level of it, so you had to make your way to that. But I finished Beachhead 1 and 2 many times, and Raid right Over Moscow as well, because they were, they were long games, but they weren't super hard games. Yes, there was speech in that game as well. I think it was made by Muse. I was just looking at it the other day, researching um, C64 games. Um, what other games did I play? Easier if I had a list in front of me, but there's thousands of C64 games, so the list would not help much. Oh, uh, maybe I'll get a list anyway. Then I can pick ones out. Ones that I can't remember. I just remember the noise that the guy made when you hit him. He went, bah, 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 <laughs> when you hit him with the knife. Let's see, list of Commodore 64 games. Oof. Wikipedia divides it into two lists. There's so many. A through M and N through Z. I feel like, that's too many. Mm. Uh, I did play 1942 a lot. Oh my god, there's so many. I don't think I'm ready to pick these out. Oh, Racing Destruction Set. I remember that because uh, I was playing the music before we started. Um, Aztec Challenge, which I have on cartridge for the Atari 2600. C64 had more levels. Uh, so I think Aztec Challenge on the 2600 is just a 4K cartridge. Oh, Aliens. I played Aliens so much. So good. I kept going back to it because it had passwords that you could... Um... You need to go to the keyboard. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're like, I know. Tell me. Oh, nostalgic's out of here. I'm going to call it night and catch the remainder on VOD. All VOD. right, video VOD. on demand. Good luck to Tanya and her quest, and thanks for the stream. Yeah, we'll You're see. welcome. <laughs> thanks for tuning in. BC's Quest for Tires, BC's Two Grog Revenge. Played both of those a lot. Um, oh, I made games on. I made a game mm -hmm. on Adventure Construction Set, where you would make the map, you'd make your characters, mm -hmm. and you make you'd make everything in, for your game, and then you place it on the map. And it would be very much like Ultima. There was an overworld, and you'd have doors that would go to another spot. So I made my neighborhood. And my house, I think. I should load that up. I should do another stream at some point of like my my saved games, my created things. Sorry. I missed that. Sorry. Didn't know you're going it going in it. One snooze. Do it one more time. Yep. Not too 
Oh boy, they combined Simon and Chess. Two games I can fail at in one. <laughs> Me too. Uh, I played Mighty Bomb Jack a lot. Uh, which somebody made on the 8-bit. Uh, a really good version on the 8-bit. Sorry, 8-bit recently. Um, I think I said Archon 1 and 2. Yeah. What was the other one I just saw here? All the game series, winter games, summer games, one and two, California games, played all of those. No! Did you die? Oh, God. Oh, you didn't make it up? No, I fell. Oh. He blocks it completely. You know what he's doing. Oh, I got one more. Two left. These are awful. What other game? Here Atari get Grumbly. Mm -hmm. mm. That was Atari? Yeah. He was, uh, Sprite was sleeping too close to him. He went, Because mm. <laughs> he was moving and sleeping too close. Uh, oh, Gauntlet. Oh, Gateway to Apshai. That was so much fun. Um, played hardball. Really good baseball game. A bunch of uh, text-based uh, adventures. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And... Oh my god. Thank you for subscribing D twice. I steal newspapers. Mm -hmm. I recognize that name from a long time ago. Thank you for watching and enjoying and subscribing. Mm -hmm. Twice? Did you did it actually subscribe twice? You did. Wow. Didn't know you could do that. <sighs> Guess I'd just put some bookends them. You can just enemies. subscribe. And then subscribe again for the next month. Mm. Glad you're enjoying Tanya's playthrough of kind Impossible of. <laughs> Mission. <laughs> yeah. She has one hour and 38 minutes left in non-real time. Yeah. It could all go in the next five minutes, yes. or it could be an hour and 40, 38 minutes. <laughs> Depends if she dies. Oh, Jumpman and Jumpman Jr. So good. Oh, my God. So good. Still waiting for somebody to finished that on the 2600 there's like three different ones on the 2600 and they're all good in their own respects but none of them are finished they're all just like proof of concepts so you should be able to get all the puzzles except for two done well i think there are so how many letters do i need you need nine nine so that's 36 okay you do need 36 yeah but you're only missing two now so you could get all eight, you get up to eight, or you could get seven puzzles, and you've already solved one. Oh, close to getting another one. Um, 
Mule. I played Mule a ton. As soon as I fix or upgrade my four port Atari 5200, we'll have a four player Mule day. That's for sure. Somebody made a ported Mule for the 5200. Okay, then close to one more. Oh, one more piece. One more piece. Does she have it? Chances are very high that she has it. Nope. She does not. I would keep that there, though. I am. <laughs> uh, maybe do the ones with the spiky. Spike, spike, spike. Well. I think that's... Or that one. That's one's almost I've complete. I've already done it. I've already done that one. Oh. Uh, what other games... snooze boo did you use one since you've uh mm -hmm. yeah luckily as you backtrack the lair of the evil dude is at the beginning so that's one yeah. bonus didn't get that candy. The question is, do I want to go back and try and get it? Ugh. So I know there's one right at the beginning. Yeah, in the first row, you said. I'm guessing the ones that go straight across are the easiest. Yeah, oh, for sure. Oh, quite a precipice there. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to move too fast when you walk into a room. No, because the uh, platforms may have changed from their default settings. Ah. Really clever use of the only one button in this game. Oh, yeah. With the, the whole computer at the bottom. There's only one keyboard in the whole game, right? Two. Two? Okay. I think it was at the beginning that you skipped it. Right? So mm. you still have a good chance of... Yeah, there's another keyboard. Like I have to say, when I've won the game. Yep. There's nothing in that room. <sighs> you like jumping? <laughs> Gotta jump every time. Jump. <laughs> it's just fun to it flip is. through the middle. Great animation. Oh no! Oh, run! Oh my God! Oh no! Uh, there goes ten minutes. No, oh, you can't do that. You have to do it from here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All the way across. It's that room. 
So I still have that candy machine. I think there was another room at the far end, too. Yeah. Um. This doesn't take long to look through all the rooms. Pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And to get across the whole thing. Oh, there's oh, one there. It's a printer. Right. Accepted. Using your one thing. Don't fall in the pit. Oh, good. Well, That's very good. That's something. That's the best, almost the best <laughs> outcome. That's second best outcome. Second best outcome, not the best outcome. Actually, it might even be better than getting a puzzle this piece. This one here. Oh, yeah, he's zapping too, I bet, right? He follows you. He zaps. Oh my god, you're taking a good risk. Oh, you're freaking me out. <laughs> Sorry. some puzzles or you could go find the keyboard. That's what I'm looking for. Hi, kitties. Wanna cut off? Okay, that was the crossing. <sighs> nope. Where was it? Must have been in the first row. It must have been. Access there's one accessible from the left only. Yeah, that would uh, be must they're be. always one sided, so our robot cat says there was an impossible to get recliner in one of those rooms. You can always at least find loose change and cat treats in the recliner. Very true. <laughs> Very true. Oh, you're so cute. Sprite is so soft. You guys won't even imagine. Well, that's not it. Nope, we passed. Is it the first room? Nope, that's not it. We passed. Ugh, I don't think this is gonna happen. You do it. I no. believe in you. No, no, no. Do some more puzzles. I need to... Oh, there it is. It was in the first, the first room. After this would be a good treat time. Not during this. As soon as she leaves this room would be fine. Yeah. And I actually made it small. You can do treat time now if you like, if you have the bits. Have the bits. It's treat time. It's treat time. Yum, 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 yum. Did that wake you up? Hmm? Atari? Did mm -hmm. that wake you up? Oh, he's so sleepy. Open one of his eyes. No. No, he's so sleepy. Oh, sleepy cat. What are these? What are those? Oh, was that you? You did that. Oh, now I definitely know it's you. Oh, it's both of you. Good kitties. RC70 is feeding the kitties. Wake up the cats. Oh, two. Don't you only get one for for each press, each round. Your own, your own belly now. Nope. Make a ding. Make a ding. Make a ding. Oh, both of you got it. <laughs> At the At same the time. Exact same time. His neck almost snapped off waking up. Yeah. Good kitty. 
think they clear up, actually. They're all still here. Did he? You have oh, to remember no. the ones that you what? used. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Make it ding. That was so soft. I don't even know if it was you. Okay, we've got four more. One. Two. Three. Next one is the last one. And Sprite gets it. Good Sprite. Good kitties. Very smart kitties. Wash this stink off my hands. Yeah, <laughs> smelly. They're disgusting. Mm. He's purring. He's so happy. So happy. RC7, he fed him. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's a happy kitty. He doesn't like faces. I forgot. Poor Atari. <laughs> hey, you know, them's the brakes. You gotta ding it fast to get that last treat. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's sniffing. Oh, he's sniffing for more treats. Did you not get enough treats? You gotta ring faster. Gotta. So gotta, that's unfair. <laughs> that's unfair. I wanted the last one. So I think I asked your dad if he still had the Commodore 64, and he went, no, 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 long gone. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn it. Yeah. Could have had some more games. But, of course, you can download all of the games now. True. I always wonder if, like, in my stash over there, do I have, like, some rare game? I know most of them are not. Like, some, some of the older ones that maybe didn't get around very much. It's very, very unlikely. But, um, worth going through my list and checking out. But super, super unlikely. He tried so hard to get one last ring and you t as you took it. I know he was trying, but... I only had so many. I can't, <laughs> I can't keep giving them out. Yeah. And Sprite constantly rings it. He's very fast. He eats He's it. Instantaneous. Hoovers yeah. it and dings immediately. Mm -hmm. He even tries to get Atari's. So it oh, still I'm has. Having such a hard time with these. I've got like some superimposed, but I'm not even sure. Maybe they're not right. This one looks like there should be a. That one I think is right. But it, there should just be one one piece left on it. You may not have that piece. I guess. There might be red herrings. Cat abuse. Oh, cat abuse. He'll say that. He'll agree with you. Atari will agree with you. Mm. They do get fed outside the show, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't let them. This don't is let them. supplemental. These are treats. Not it's not their food. <laughs> oh, change the display. What? You don't want to see the floor anymore? Thank you for letting me know. I feel like we've already done this one. But if you do it again, what does it just go? Eh, you've already done it, or? RC70 says, I was so immersed in the small screen I didn't even notice. You're like concentrating on the on the tiny on little the window. Oh no, the game window. Oh. Because oh, I God. put the put the game window now in the cat. The cat. Yeah, cam, yeah, yeah, yeah. So people can That's see. So funny. Because I like when we're doing the the classic games. Yeah. It's on a timer. We can't we either have to stop it or last last show we just kept going. Because some of the, the games they did them on were just not very good games. Uh, 
like the trash can even as a step on it. Mm -hmm. One little pixel for the step. Hi, kitties. What are you doing, little silly cat? Mm -hmm. Hi. So I used my Commodore right up until I got my first 386. Gotcha. Which it's not very long between those times. I think I got my 386 in, I want to say grade 11, so I had it a uh, Commodore 64 for like only for like by itself for f four years, grade seven to grade 11. Mm -hmm. No, that's not right. That's not right at all. Because I took computer science, I swear, in grade 8, but it might have been in grade 9, and those were PCs. And uh, I had one because I would work on it at home. Maybe I didn't have one right away. Oh, you finished another one. Oh, it's a lift. <laughs> Why? Always lifts. <sighs> Is the description of this part of the game like a 30 page chapter? I can't even imagine explaining this to a kid. No. You just kind of figure it out, too. <laughs> it's like. Like, I don't remember. I don't remember there being like. Oh, they, yeah, see, the, the old pieces are still there. I remember that. You have to remember what pieces you've used. I mean, I figured it out without the manual, what I had to do. In this game? Yeah. So I didn't have the manual. I just knew that, oh, pieces fit together, and they're all different colors, so I knew I had to make them the same color. I think the hardest part was, oh, I finished the puzzle, but nothing happened? Yeah, and then you have to find your way back to the... Um, you have to flip the puzzle the right way once yeah. it's even completed. Once it's completed, yeah. That's the hard part. But describing this wouldn't be too hard. It's like, okay, there's 36 puzzle pieces, mm -hmm. four pieces per puzzle, and they're not in the right orientation, and they may not be the right color. And then once you finished it, you have to flip it around. It, it wouldn't take too long to explain it, I don't think. Yeah, it does actually. No. Okay, that's fine. Go away. One hour left. Ugh. Still sounds like an impossible mission to me, Cubanismo says. Mm -hmm. At this point, it still is. She needs. You still need two? Or did you get another one? I have two. Oh, you mean pieces left? Pieces. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. okay. I think I still need to. Hmm. Did you do that one at the bottom? It's 28. So yeah, it is taking the It is. So I would I think that, that, one. that one would be the easiest, and also the one with the huge chunk out of it. It's just one solid chunk. Because that one is almost on every border except for the left and the right. I don't think so, but... Oh, maybe. Yeah, that one is... Wow! Doesn't even look like it fits. So that's two pieces. So only that's the only two pieces. Yeah. Wow. The other ones are going to be small. In theory, yes. And in the center. Mm -hmm. 
where they could be. I don't think it lets you superimpose them if they're wrong, though. Uh. I don't know. It's possible. They're going the wrong way. Yeah, I think it's that one, too. Spinning, spinning, spinning. I'm running out of time, I'm running out of time. I got an hour. There you go. As long as you don't die five times. This one already. Ooh. Ooh. No, you definitely didn't do that one. RC70 says, How my kid does that every time we play. Unscrews the top of the joystick. Yeah. There. Is that it? Is it what? Is it that one? The bottom green one? This one? And flipped upside down because it looks like there's a. Hopefully you have that last piece, and it gives you a snooze. Is that it? That's it. Yes. It doesn't give you anything. Or your lift and it's maxed out. Wonderful. One of those two. Yeah. At least there's less pieces to look through now. I don't know. I feel like the same pieces are there. You how about that one? That one's so chunky. I wanna like see what goes with. in these ones. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. over and over again. I swear I used this one already. I don't know. Are they all still here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Oh, twenty-three. Yeah, no, they are disappearing. Are these puzzles the same every time you play? I believe they are. I don't know. There may be, they may be from a bigger set and they don't display every puzzle. I do have the uh, wiki. Should be able to give some insight into that maybe. Let's see. say anything about it. Possible mission puzzle pieces. Uh, 
Ah, here it is. 18 of the puzzle pieces are always the same. They combine to form nine pairs of half-completed puzzles. The other 18 pieces are chosen randomly mm -hmm. from a selection of pairs that will fit the other half of the nine puzzles. You can usually tell when you have a pair of pieces correctly combined, they will often form regular patterns or shapes. If you find puzzles difficult and you have time left on the clock after collecting all 36, then use the phone to put the pieces in the correct orientation. It costs two minutes per call, but you can hopefully make it an easier start in combining them together. That's, you don't have time to do that. Two minutes? Yep. Yeah, I forgot about the phone. So you have to, I think you have to place a piece on the board, be on That's it, wrong. and then call, and then it'll tell you what the right orientation, but that doesn't get you closer if you don't have the right pieces to show. Mm-hmm. I can't tell though, will it let you combine them if they're wrong? What does it say? Because um, that's what I can't remember if... I believe you can Yeah. combine them if they're wrong. I'm going to get rid of these again. <sighs> Patoko says there's a piece with a flat P, then another with a missing P, but vertically in mirrored. I find it not hard to get two together, but sometimes more than two is the problem. There's a flat P. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to look for that. This looks like something. Yeah, <laughs> the original call a friend. Yeah. <laughs> It's very hard to think of orientations of things, I find. Mm -hmm. The P is green. The P. <laughs> there aren't many green ones there. You're not quite going to the end of the list each time. Are those two the same? They are the same. Which? Those two pieces. That one. You just selected And them. that one. No, I didn't. Well, you're scrolling one at a time. That's why you're... This one? No. This piece? That piece? Yeah. Down? Oh, you're right. <laughs> <gasps> I'm getting confused. Toko really wants you to use that P. I don't know what the P is, Toko. <laughs> the P is green and it has two diagonal scratches. I don't know. P is green and has two diagonal scratches. Is it this that? one? Oh, kind of looks like a. And then another with a missing P. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. like it if you mm. flip it and mm, it's no no it's not
Yeah, that, that does, fit. does fit. Doesn't look right, but it fits. Some of them are very non-obvious. One of these pieces has like kind of a square in the middle. Not necessarily. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, the yellow one. Duh. No, it doesn't overlay. It does look like parts of it do, but. Doing high score club this season. I've never done uh, one before this. Mm. Uh, no, because they don't do all homebrew. They do like one or two homebrew. So I usually just do the homebrew ones. So I, I have done. We did um, pressure, uh, pressure gauge. Or is that another different? Is there, I think there's three different contests. Is this the one on Facebook, or is this the one in uh, the Atari Age forums? Or is it the both? Oh, it's on the Atari Age forums. What's the one on Facebook called? Season 13. Vanguard. See, they mostly don't do homebrews. Do they show what games they're doing? Let's see. Send suggestions for arcade games, paddle games, rarely play games, yeah. other games. They didn't even mention homebrew, sadly. And then somebody posted a list of the games they have played, and it's, that's a lot of games. There we go. That makes sense now. Oh, you got one. All right. What is next? Stripe is. I don't see people suggesting homebrews, unfortunately. They just do not get the love. That's what I just put there. <laughs> Doesn't look like they picked a full list for season 13. Blue has the missing P. <laughs> Blue? Can I go past it? That one? Looks like it does. But it sounds like... Yeah, it does. Yay. Yay! And... Is that it? Ooh. Sure looks like it. Yay! Please, this thing's... <laughs> Just Vanguard so far. Everything Thank is too Thank you, Vitoko. Thank you, Vitoko. To be determined. Okay, so they don't announce the whole schedule right away. All right, that's four letters. I need mean nine. Do the first two go together? And that you just placed on the left. Yeah. There's another piece that's huge yeah. that would fit on the top right, I think.
that one. Doesn't that look like it fits in the top right? Yeah, it does. Is there any logic to the orientation of the puzzle at the end? They're just random. I'm sh there is logic, I'm sure, but I mean, to, to us, it would be random. Like, you'd never memorize the dots, as far as I can tell. Yeah, yep, yep. Nice. So, another half one. Is that it? Yep. go. All right, one, two, three, four, five. It spells, what could that spell? Could it spell albatross? Nah. <laughs> a yellow fits the lower, oh, that might be old. Atari computer, nope, we are playing Commodore 64 today. Special edition because it's the Commodore 64's 40th birthday this month. And we thought we would play uh, some Commodore 64 homebrew, then in After Dark, play Tanya's favorite Commodore 64 game. Which I'm not very good at anymore. <laughs> okay. She's got 40 in-game minutes left. Mm. She is missing two puzzle pieces still. She has zero snoozes, and the things she needs to get need snoozes. Yep. Sadly. Um, so she has to play the keyboard a little bit more, I think. <laughs> Maybe. Because she's got all of the pieces, all of the searches are done that can be done really easily. Nope. <laughs> Must not many be, be many pieces left. No, it's not many. It's all like <sighs> slashes of pieces that kind of fit together. It needs two more, so. That line will help a lot if you have it. So you have four more puzzles to solve. Two minimum are solvable. Two, yeah. Two or three are solvable. Most likely two. But I could be wasting my time on an unsolvable one. It could be. But you have at least three pieces of it. Oh, oh. I got there before. That's oh. the same one I got. Leave it then. Yeah, okay. Don't have that piece. No, I obviously. don't. Ooh, okay. But. I have, I'm missing two? Is that what we said? Yes. That means... One, two. It is two puzzles. So I need. I'm missing one piece. Oh. I'm missing. Well, that's good. You're missing that piece. So the rest of them can be solved. Ugh, I don't have enough time. Is that my. Ugh, do I have to take that path across? You yeah. have to. Are you going to do that it. keyboard first? No, I'm 
no. find my way to the... Where is it? Where are they? They're at the far end, aren't they? Most of them, yeah. That's his... That, so that's the... Um, that's the lair, bottom of the uh, third. Uh, to get back to. Yep. So mad I couldn't get to that killing machine. In time. Okay. I'm going through. I'm gonna miss. I'm not gonna make it. I know I'm not gonna make it. There's not enough time. <laughs> Technically, there is. That's the crossing point. I don't think there's anything more to get here, is there? No, I think it's all on the right now. I think you're right. I hope so. I would check. Pretty sure. Bet it's in that stupid candy machine. <laughs> I would cross one down, but more. But, but check, I guess. It's not that one. Is it one more over? Ugh. Or is it Did up? you check the left one? Just skip it and you want to talk about it over there. Sorry? The one you're just at on the left? That one. So I still don't have that. Ugh, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I've got so many of them. You do. <laughs> I bet it's in there. Or that one. So those are the big ones. Go play the keyboard. Is the keyboard uh it's over one column i believe or go there's it down the bottom okay so there's ends. that one and then there's the upper one so those are the two is it this dead end or is it one more over yes okay Perfect. pay attention What'd you get? <laughs> Please. Oh, check your. Oh, no. no. Another reset left. I have no idea. There's no way. Bottom left. Oh no, that just comes before. get that one? I can't even remember. I, I can't do this. It's too much. I... 
Is it going to give me the same one again? Whatever's easiest, whatever is close to a. They're both hard. A computer is close to it. They're both hard. This one, I think I can get, but it's gonna be it's gonna be the candy machine. Yes, nice. I'll take it. Then I have to get the candy machine. Yep, that'll be the puzzle. Uh, yes, yeah, so you have to do it uh, in ascending order. Yeah, terrible at it. Terrible. This is brutal. It is. Okay, plan out okay. your strategy. You know how to get up there? So it's up, jump, 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 get on the edge, jump. It's ridiculous. But once you're there, it's not bad, right? I, I don't th no, I don't know. Damn it. No. Nope. I can't do it. I have no choice. I have no choice. I, I can't, I can't get up there. Oh, so close. I don't think I can get up there. I think I'm dead. <laughs> Aww. I know! <laughs> it is insanely complex. Mm -hmm. It does make me want to play again. It's a decent score. <laughs> well, I, yeah, you got, as, see, 35 puzzle pieces found. Yeah, I was one away. One away. One away. <sighs> Used up your freezing robots. There's, that room has two varying, I don't think we have time to play again. Oh, I really want to, but it's, 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 it's an exhausting <laughs> game because it's so long. Um, it is long. I don't want to play it again. <laughs> Everyone's going to leave. Um, it doesn't matter. That candy room, there's different versions of them. So in one of them, the robot goes back and forth. We so, saw both versions. Yeah. yeah. So if you, you so when the robot's going back and forth, you don't necessarily need the freeze. You can jump up, step, yeah. and jump, and then you actually have a shot of getting over to that candy. Yeah, people are still watching. 18. <laughs> RC70. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Should I start it again? How long did it take? When did we start playing? Was that an hour? Was it more than an hour? We started playing at 6. Uh, I don't know if I have the energy. We'll see how this goes. It little may over, not last long. A little over an hour and a half. 
It is one of these games where if you're too tired, you just can't play it well. 50 minutes for Toko says. Is it? Oh, it's not horrible. I might not have the energy though. <laughs> <sighs> Another drink? Oh, I haven't ha I haven't even had any of that drink. Oh, what? I figure if I drank too much, it wouldn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. It is Saturday. I keep thinking I have to work tomorrow. Oh, no, it's Friday. It's even better. I mean Friday. <laughs> Tom I mean tomorrow's Saturday. Yes. All right. Someone needs to feed me drinks while I'm doing this. Okay. No, Do you haven't had any of that? I'm kidding. <laughs> More careful. And when you come across keyboard, just do as much as you can on that keyboard. So you don't have to go back to it later. You will need it. Uh, uh. Ah. Not being careful! I am being careful. This is a hard room. Everything zaps in it. See, I'm tired. Timing goes. Timing goes when you're tired. Sure you want to do it then? We'll see. Uh, already want to freeze. Give you, Tanya a belt to run when she wants a sip fed to <laughs> Yeah. Actually, it's you can. Straw. There is a pause. You can suspend time. It's a little pause. Time is suspended. Mm hmm. pieces look like they fit together. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. Is some kind of cider drink you have? It is. RC70, it is a pear cider. No boats on Sunday, it's called. Crafted with BC apples. So, so it's, it's Unless you live in BC, you probably had, didn't have it. <laughs> unless you live in the proximity of BC, but it far could away be enough. Exported. Far away enough from your place. It's made in Kelowna, BC, so. Far away from other mm. apple trees. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, not that one. You had a skinnier one. That, that, the one earlier wasn't cider, it was uh, seltzer. Okay. So that one is particularly bad. I might go back to it because there's a lot of zapping. What did that clock say? I mean. feel like they're meaner now. They're like, ah, oh, you failed. We're gonna get really mean. <laughs> they're all gonna zap. Every like I robot. said, um, these rooms aren't exactly the same. The robot patterns, so you kind of get to know them. Yeah. I think there's two for each, but I could be wrong. There could be more. But you know, like there are some rooms that are harder, depending on what room you get. Mm, yeah. And where the things are. Some are easier, and like I said, that candy machine. That's really unlucky. Lucky because. There was, it was literally the last thing left. And oftentimes you can solve them all without getting every single piece. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that was a very unlucky game as far as I'm concerned. He is an angry robot. Fall down. Can't you? Go down here. He zaps. No, ah. he doesn't. He zaps at the end. Oh, there's so See? many different. That's what I mean. You and it takes. You cleared those two rooms at the top? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, the one on the right, I didn't. The one on the right was the one that I was like, ah, I'm coming back with it. Okay. These are all zappy. Gotta keep track of these, because don't want to waste time. Wandering around. Zappy, zappy. See, what's with these these guys zapping, too? Ugh. These guys suck. They do all the zap, like extreme zapping. <laughs> extreme zapping. Yeah. Uh, did they rotoscope something for the robot turning animation? Oh! Not close enough. This is a mean one too. Get it again. I don't think they would have. Lucky those robots were not at the end. No, they're they're there. I remember this room from last time. They were both zappy, just like this. No, let's go. <sighs> you have to get him to zap first and then jump. Right. Yeah, this is going to be rough. 
weapons on the room. Okay, crossing point. It is very smooth, the robot animations. It's really good. I don't know what they would rotoscope for that. They could have done a model and then like rotated the model and then drawn it in every position? That's a possibility. That would make it easy. easier. Yeah, everything about this game, I think the smoothness really added to it. Like, obviously the gameplay is amazing. The gameplay is so good. It's a perfect mix of platformer and puzzle. Mm -hmm. Like, absolutely perfect. The puzzle is not easy either. No. Nothing! Ugh. You, th you think, oh, it's only four pieces. It's like, yeah, it is four pieces, but they look crazy. Okay. things. Oh, this room again. See, he's moving. Oh. It's a completely different room when he's moving. Let's see if I can remember how to get up to... Can't get that computer on the right-hand side. Without the pause, it's without... Uh... There now. Yep, I think you can if you go on the very, very right and then jump to the left. I think it just catches his foot. Yes, that's how you do it. So, that's a buzz. I'm so close I could feel the bolt in my real stomach. <laughs> Nothing here, of course. Oh, just enough for him. Now, that. Can I hide in the corner? I can. Maybe. Just barely. If you're not moving. Not running. Yeah. I don't think I can do it, though. Can no. I? No. It's not enough time. <laughs> we stick to uh, right No, it's okay. Sometimes, sometimes you, you gotta do it. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes you gotta die. Try it again. Oh, you'll get it this time. But you'll die again. Maybe not. Nothing here. Always nothing here. Ugh. Kittens. What do you think about that? Here. But I got the candy <laughs> uh -huh. that I couldn't get in the last level. Uh -huh. Destroy him, my robot. No, no. You, it, it, it is, it is a game. You have to have a bit of um. <laughs> have to have balls to play this game. Yeah. You have to risk. This guy's gonna zap. I can tell. When they pause and wait, they're. <laughs> I'm waiting to zap you. <laughs> it's a thing. Oh yeah. god, I have to get back. Yeah. But there's room. Ah, ah, ah. Right against the wall there. So tight. Can I come for me? Oh, he does zap. Uh, 
that's fine. That's Glad okay. Glad he doesn't run. It's the running. Does a half-hearted. Nice. Sometimes they pause the end, though. Oof. Ooh, we should be the other way now. I did read that uh, RC70 that the 7800 version is impossible to finish. Somebody did post a fixed version of it, I believe. There we go. That was easy. <laughs> he turned. He was turning the other way. There's a fixed NTSC version, so you'll have to uh, complete the 7800. That's good. Yeah. Compared to the last time I did this, there was yeah. a lot of zapping. Now that guy could zap. Could. Nope. None of them. Wow. Lucky, lucky. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it is a bit of luck. Nope. That guy could zap, though. But no, he didn't. He didn't. Nope. None of them. See? It is luck. There is... I, I got any puzzle pieces, though. I didn't see any. Hi. Ow, you're sharp. Is he biting you? No, he's sharp. Not biting. So, oh, he's like, ow, ow, you are biting. It's, it's not even close. He says it's 10. It's time to start meowing and biting. Oh my gosh. Do I have any, um... I do. Okay, we can, we can do this one now. He's very zappy, that one. Just go down the left-hand side when that guy turns around. There we go. Okay. Let's see how much of this I can do. Not enough. Not enough, I agree. Get off that robot. I'm gonna have to do it again. I don't yeah. trust him. Um, no. Who's ever sitting on those couches? <laughs> he has a very strange layout for his uh, lair. That's for sure. Go, go, go up, up, up. There. So was that one that you didn't get before? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, nice. I cleared it. I will clear that off the list. Some things definitely you need. Oh. Did you get the third one cleared yet? On that column? The second Did I not? Column? You didn't get that one. I have note. No, I did. I did. Oh. Yeah, I got the freeze. Yeah. You played everything. Yeah. Yeah. Good. You gotta kind of remember and go back. I'm noting it. Uh, is that my best option? Yep. Is that further oh. down? All right. Can't you, can't you theoretically just run across it? The whole thing? No, you, you can't. can't. No. You have to stop every time. Because of your footsteps? Yeah. Oh, stupid Prince of Persia type. Yeah, yeah it's very, very It's not deliberate. as bad in this game as Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia is so precise. Walk up to edges, turn around, go down, hang on things. Bathtub, it's got a place to be suspicious. Oh, careful. Oh, he runs it. That's funny. Relax, that's To get him to the other side. Ah. The toilet is winking at? <laughs> is it flashing? Was it? That is not one of the most odd behaviors for a robot to be going. Oh, oh. The timing is so precise with it's a that. Fast turnaround. Yeah, okay. that's okay. Are we? I don't know oh, if okay. it's okay. 
We're okay, we're okay for now. Two hours in. Zapper. I can't eat these guys. It's not that bad. Is this happy? No. This guy. This guy's happy? This guy. This bad news. Actually, no, he might good. be at the ends. Really? Sometimes they are at the ends. So, oh! <laughs> well, I'm in the middle of, of something very precise right now. Okay. <laughs> Chewing cables? Oh my goodness gracious. You just lay down here. Be a good count. Still an hour. Calm your fur. Be like your brother. It's not that bad. No. that happen it's never happened to me the toilet winking <laughs> the toilet winking that's funny was it a, a graphical glitch coding glitch oh, I can't get back down. oh you're trying to turn them off pause them from that computer oh you're so tiny it's gonna be sad when you're big and I can't pick you up so easy. Nothing. Oh, it's always nothing. Of course. Ginormous waste of time. <laughs> Ginormous waste the of time. Oh, the joystick knob. Oh, she yeah. turns it all the time. In my robot. That's true. Rarely has happened. I think it's happened once for me. Of course, I screw it on each time. But she is playing a game that is a long, continuous game. Yeah. So I can see how it comes off. Like I said, my kid does it all the time. Yeah, too. yeah. It's, it's the way it's gripped and the length of time you play as well. Not the right way to do it. Oh well. It sure wasn't. Got lots of those and you hardly ever use them. I know. So that's good. Alright, let's see. Is this gonna kick him at me? I think he is. Oh, no. Okay. Check that printer on wheels. Damn it, nothing here. Top matrix printers. Top <laughs> matrix printers. <laughs> Kittens? You've never heard one. I got rid of mine. There's a way, I don't know if it's on this one, but on the ultimate cartridge for the Commodore, mm. you can set up a virtual printer on your Commodore using the cartridge, and it'll print to a PNG file. And then you can print the PNG file using your normal computer like your modern computer on your on your mm. laser printer. I thought that was really cool. That guy's fast. Oh, does he punch you though? I think he does. Too fast, especially for the middle one. Does it freeze the ball too? Oh, it does. Quick, quick run! You got three. Oh my God! Sorry. Don't do that, please. Nothing. Yeah, it does kill you. I, I, I oh. couldn't rem I couldn't. I, I. That's why I went around it because I was fairly mm. certain it did kill you. 
Now that I think it, I have an unconscious habit of turning them up clockwise because of our bar darts rule of doing that as you pull the dart out. Oh, so it always twists in the same way. Mugs, or do we already have some? Water bottles? Maybe? Water bottles. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay. They're not very expensive. This is a bad one. This one is a bad one. There's too many zappies. And Solo? Uh, he's got that. Kind of look to him. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't think he's Han Solo. I don't think Han Solo is on. He does have a Han Solo like vibe going on though. I do agree. Things that are just hard to do. Such oh, a long, long bookcase. Uh, like yeah, because <laughs> it might be like, oh, you're already doing it. Uh, you get two, nope. se two seconds. No, nope. okay, so that one. Uh, you were in the left. Left, okay. one, two, two from the three, bottom. Four. Escape 2048. This is impossible mission. Change the graphic. Yes, yeah. it did. On the Commodore 64. Oh, oh my, I knew it. What? I knew there's it. Robots like that? Yeah. Oh, there's all kinds of robots. They're all. That mean. one's really rare. Though. That is a meanie. Isn't it? He's like, I'm not going to look one way unless I see you. I think you can trigger it. Moving. Jump. Oh god. Okay, I should Escape 2042 on the Jaguar. Hmm. Look at that one. Look it up. He does look like that little dude. He's got the same gray jumper. He's got white skin just like that guy. It's yeah. like a pretty cool game actually. Very similar. It's a platformer. The guy looks the same. We took inspiration from it. You have to go to computers, type in numbers. There aren't any zappy robots. Though. There's guys that shoot, shoot at you. They have to repeat sequences. Yeah. Oh, there's definite inspiration. Space shooter, perfect. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, there's a lot more to the Escape 2042. But definitely the outfit was inspired by this game. 100%. Is this the firm? Below it too, I, there was uh, something that I couldn't catch. Wait, 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 one second. You were on the right hand side. Three, four, yeah, right hand side. One, two, three, middle four, and five. second one.
Oops. I'm gonna get more water. Okay. And a Sorry, snack. I'm not talking too much. That's fine. Oh, snacks. What kind of snacks are you... Are you... Uh, well, you, you can't have any because you're playing on a joystick. Very true. Very unless true. I can pop it in your mouth. That's okay. Uh, I'll work something we out. We have peanut butter cups, mini peanut butter cups. Mm -hmm. uh, we have popcorn I could pop, put in your mouth. That's okay. I'll have that's that a after. Bit tedious. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I might have a peanut butter cup. It's only 10. Yeah. 25, 25 viewers. Hey. We have more Yay. people than more? when I failed the first time. Yeah. So. so that's no, 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 no. That's a good thing. Oh. Welcome, people. Hello. <laughs> Late night Friday broadcasting. Maybe they're all in. Uh, maybe they're all in Australia. Maybe, maybe. They're starting their workday. See there. The weekend. Oh, their weekend. Yes, weekday. Oh, I'm just so thrown off. <laughs> Too much work to do. I was thinking you might be able to get one from that other approach. That guy, is he zappy? Do you think he's zappy? I bet he's zappy. That one down there? Yeah. Oh, he looks zappy. That guy looks zappy, zappy up happy. there. He's checking over his shoulder. Could wait till he gets right to the end and then go up and down quick. Hey, up, down. Oh, oh my god. First Good job. Oh, 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 my heart. <laughs> Fireplace at all now. Maybe their weekends are actually weekdays. Mm. You never know in Australia. <laughs> it's a bit late here. I need to wake up early, so mm. I'll go in a couple minutes. Oh, Saturday here in Australia. Ah, that makes sense. There we go. Ooh, ooh. Can you get it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Okay. Nice. Be mindful of any ones you can't get. I know. Get. I know. I you know. Want some sure, bring some peanut butter cups down. Only one. Oh, that's not very nice. Oh God. Bookshelves, I tell you, they're so long to search. The desks, the bookshelves. And of course, there's Busby's. In the game, you can have Aw, thank you. <laughs> How, how generous. Yeah. Oh my Whoa. god. That wasn't good. Didn't miss any? Oh, it was gone? No. I think I died once. Oh no, I mean I missed it. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I'm tense now. Oh no. <laughs> After almost winning that last one. Well, not really. Oh, crazy cats. Definitely better at this than I am. Uh, what is going on up there? Heard something. Mmm. I'm gonna check. Mmm. Go we'll check on them. Bad pants.
course there's nothing there. That's how it works. Hmm. go check on them. They're nowhere near the scene of the crime, and I can't find the crime. They're, they're going crazy. Yay! Brought these down. Oh, thank you. Sugar. Sugar! I love those sugars. Would you like a yellow one, an orange one, or a red one? Mm, orange, please. Okay. That goes fast. Oh, no, no, this is gonna work very well. Mm. Mm. Getting facing back the right direction. Oh, sappies. This is not a good level. Nice. Okay. Good use of that one. The death animation is super cool. It is. <laughs> hey, BR yeah, Pro Cop. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being here, I think, the whole time, actually, from the uh, normal episode right into After Dark. Thanks for watching. Get the no more. No, no, no. We're good for now. Not for now. Do, Two it, do it now. Do it now. No, I have to come back. I have to come back. You only have two total right now. Two. No. Oh, have a good night, Dan. Or day. I don't know where you guys are. <laughs> Does not compute. Oh. Yeah. Beer Pocock says break a leg, Tanya. They wouldn't put it right on top of the machine. Oh, right? they might. So that you have to use a uh, robot uh, sleeper. Maybe. I swear there's some, it's like, I don't think you can. Like, maybe through some magic you can. I mean, could. in the 7800 game, they put puzzle pieces behind a computer. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> good point. Intruder alert. Intruder mm -hmm. alert. Yeah, it could be like, um, Berserk, but like, platform Berserk. <laughs> mm -hmm. Time. One there. Oh, the next level up? Yeah. Mm. Yes, it's very fast. Back up there. Ooh. Might be dying. Is it better to die or use it? It is a... better to die. At this point, yeah. yeah. 
Ooh, how much time? Mm. Look how Not close bad. I am to the end. I'm doing better than I did last time. I mean, Way they, I, we could end up with some super horrible... Oh, and this is close to the end, too. I feel like this guy's gonna... What's up? <laughs> enough robot disablers you only have three rooms you must I might have enough run, run, run. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll take note of where this guy is just so. this is important that is how you win how I win, how, you win? <laughs> how I win gonna win this time Stamina. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's seven. it's right on the end. That's really good. It's really kind of better when it's in the in the end instead of having to backtrack. Slow that way. Okay, might be able to do it then. Both sides. Oh well, I won't complain about that. Nope. The fall scream, old style says. It's the best. The fall scream. It is. Like, they're really clear voices, too. So cool hearing voices out of the Commodore 64. Because I also had Sam as well to play with, with the, which is the... I can't remember what the acronym stands for. But the voices were nowhere near as good as this. It just constantly. Oh, no. Okay. Goes back. So Corners funny. himself. Oh, such a weird. A tan. All right. Let's get out of here. How's your joystick knob? Is it screwed on tight? Get it back on. <laughs> <laughs> your last column. Wow. You might actually be able to pull this off. Uh. Zappy. Oh my god, wow. I notice how really detailed that bookshelf is. It's really detailed. It is detailed. There's a lot of individually like sized books on there. Okay, this is brutal. Yeah. If you fall, you can't go back up. Yeah, you do that right. And nothing. Oh, puzzle oh, piece. 
actually worth it. Let's see where I'm at then. That might be the last room. Hopefully you have all the pieces. That would be amazing. Because you've missed three rooms. <sighs> Check them. Count it. Okay. So that's one, yeah. two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36! Okay! Yes! All right. <laughs> Where was the... Um... Bad guy? Row eight, second from the bottom. Which is row eight? Uh, you have to go over one, one right? Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right there. Right here. Perfect. Okay, so... Just got all the puzzle pieces. Now, how much time do you have for Ugh, doing the puzzle? I have a lot of time. I have two hours, technically. Two literal hours to do the puzzle. <laughs> two literal hours. If you can't do those oh, God. puzzles in two hours, how then brutal would that be? You I get so confused. Deserve to fail. Okay, we're gonna start here. Yeah, it's different pieces this time. Mm. Now, as we read. Half the pieces are exactly the same as last time. And the pieces go exactly together. Yeah. As as last time. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> it does. It says it does. Old well, Stella says it's time to assemble the punch cards. That's what they are! They are punch cards. Oh my god. They are punch cards. <laughs> what? I don't know why I didn't get that before. Punch cards. Um, I wonder if they literally spell out those letters. I think there's too many holes. To no, spell no. Out the well, actually, that would be quite an interesting thing. Oh, those go together. Um, or Swiss cheese. Vitoko says start with the peas. I don't even understand. The peas, <laughs> Vitoko, you and He's your peas. Obsessed with the peas. <laughs> I haven't even looked at them yet. That looks... Uh, you already used that one. Oh, no, you didn't. Uh, not yet. No. That one. Maybe? No. No. You'll get fed, don't you worry, in a half an hour. Come here, little fluffy black cat. He is fluffy. It's getting fluffier. His tail is getting very fluffy. Yes, you are. You're getting very fluffy. Are you going to be the fluffiest cat in the house? Here we are, I think. <laughs> I think he is. Atari has short hair, and this guy's medium so far. I don't think he'll ever be long. I think you know as a baby if they're going to be long hair, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that the one I've already used? What is this? I'm getting very confused here. Are no, people screaming at one. me? Meow. Swiss cheese! No. Meow. Nobody's screaming at you. They're like, do this! I don't know! <laughs> this is the hard part. I can start with another one. Oh. Lots of square ones this time. I'm hoping that means they're that means they're easier. Um Put those two together. Those two. <laughs> don't look but like they fit that there's only one piece left yep is there a piece that looks like that maybe maybe not don't remember seeing one like that but i don't either i think you you do them in like twos maybe yeah. that's kind of the key is i need to do that again oh get, no get rid of this guy okay let's try this again um, I think they do need to do be done in like two. So those two definitely go to be. those two definitely go to bed together. So What are you doing? 
It's not time for dinner. He's acting up. Acting up and acting out. He always does. Feel like that. Soundtrack of meows. Oh. oh, that looks about right. Yeah. Nope. Must be flipped. That doesn't look right, though. I don't think there's one that just has that left. Is there? Not that I remember, a bunch of dots. Let's scroll a lot all the of way things, down and up. A lot of things can go together. Hmm. The color change up. requirement seems kind of pointless. It does. Like, you can literally just take a piece and mm -hmm. turn it to a different color. And turn them all yellow or all, you know. It's just to make it a little bit visually harder because you can't change the color of them on the list that you have to keep choosing from. That's the hard part. So they're always green or always yellow. Yeah, there's a lot of things that can go into things. I'm not like... That's, yes, that's what they said. Because they go in two pairs. They go in two pairs. So... I'm not sure this is right. Oh my god. There's some they don't like make that. it easy, do they? Did you scroll right to the end? So I find you go like a little bit and then a little bit up, a little bit down. Like, this one looks like the other one. So that... Mm, that really also go looks in like there. It fits. And that's a totally different thing. Yeah, it is. What the hell? Okay, you know what? I'm getting rid of this guy. Those those definitely go together. I don't know. Those I don't two. know because I think there's You can make a copy of it. Well no, I have that, but it's like I think they've made it worse. That yellow a bit up goes on the UD one. <laughs> it's it's hard to convey instructions about puzzles <laughs> over chat. Yeah. Because things change constantly by the time you type it. It's like, oh. He's like thinking this yellow that one, one, that works too. He's, he says that one, I think. Like this fits on this. This, these two both work with this guy. Right. Right? If I take this and I flip it. That'll work, and it'll work with the other one, too. This also goes here. But do those two go together? Maybe. No, they don't. Like the green and the yellow? No, they no. don't. Hmm. So there's something really... Are you sure they don't? Yeah, there's something funky going on there. Are you really sure they yes. don't Yes, go these two? Yeah, the yellow, like if you f flip it because... Uh. Like that. No, overlaps. Yeah. yeah, it's the it same pattern does. though. It's kind of nuts. I don't like this at all. There's some weird stuff going down. I would do the straight ones then. Like, look at this one. This is the same as that. The up and down really screws. It does the opposite of what I think it's supposed to. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's. That's the one. I didn't think there was one, but it looks like enough. there is. No, I, I, I just, I, I didn't recall one that looked like that. I didn't think there was one there. Yay, four less pieces. Yay. I hate that. I'm surprised mm. they don't automatically oh, delete. God. 
All right, one. We're one down. We got a T. We got a T. T for Tanya. Thirty-two I... more pieces to go. Oh God. Okay. T for Tanya. I feel like those would go together too. But I swear those two went together with one more flip. I think a lot of them do go together, but they may not be oh, right go together. Go away. Go away. A lot of the time they look City close. Existed for the Sim City? Commodore 64. Maybe it's take... so I played that on uh, PC, but not on the Commodore 64. Hmm. Like Rachel and Ross. Also completes the UD. Back to soldering. You'll see. <laughs> he's trying to tell you something and you're not doing it. And he's <laughs> frustrated and he wants to. Sorry. He's going to solder, solder his anger away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get there eventually. <laughs> That's what I've been doing the whole time, soldering in another UAV. <laughs> An unmanned aerial vehicle. Oh. No, <laughs> it's a UAV, uh, universal audio video uh, adapter for, um, very many systems, actually. Rage soldering. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right in the middle of my hand. Ah! Oh, the pain. Rage defluxing right now. Rage defluxing. Okay, I know I did this one before. Is that two pieces? Yeah. Okay. Ultimate Atari video. Oh, okay. Not universal audio video. Which is also a good name. Mao. You're right. It is 15 minutes before you get fed. He's mm. like, feed me now. I will bite you. That big green one seems Which like. Which one? This one? Yeah. Seems like a huge head start. Okay. Scrounge my very last spare TIA out, out of an original heavy sixer. Oh wow. Last TIA to fix the last 2600. The last 2600. Well, at least they matched up. You're not for a lack of a uh, TIA. I guess people aren't too, like, weird about mixing and matching TIAs and different chips from different machines to different machines. Um, can they be identified? Like, oh, this is an old TIA and this is a new TIA and this one came from a heavy sixer or are they all just like, eh, who knows and it doesn't really matter. They have date stamps. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That makes sense then. So I bet there's people who like have the chess piece, heavy sixer, all original 
TIA and riot chips and they all have to be early 77 September 1977 all original someday we'll be screwed when they, all the TIA and riot chips dry up well, if they dry up enough somebody will and there's still interest in them somebody will be inclined enough to make a ton of them I don't know if we'll ever run out there's just so many 2600s I, I guess when they get all bad there it is Today I pulled and installed in the Vader model was the 49th week of 77. Wow, that's pretty early. That's really early, actually. 49th week. That'd be like November. I look like it should work. Of course, they were making them probably before September. You know, August. June, July, August, maybe. wonder what the earliest chip is. No, it looks like it should work. Can flip it? Oh my god. No, it doesn't work. Oh, it's so close. Evil. How many pieces are. Yeah, it looks like it should work. Sure does. But it does no, not. It, no, it definitely does not. Yeah. The riot was stamped with the 43rd week. Oh. Having seen the Jaguar collectors, I'm sure somebody has every variant of 2600 box and shrink wrapped on display in their converted garage somewhere. Pretty much guarantee somebody's got every version. Some one person has every version in the box, like even pirated versions. Like overseas, like C-cam ones. The only other one that I would really want is there's like an Activision one that's from Brazil that has like a really cool logo embossed on a black 2600. That one looks really, really cool. Marco Wonder 007. What is that? Is that what it's called? I don't know the name of it. That burns up nothing. Let's see. I don't know what that is. Brazil seems to have gotten all the cool console versions. Yeah, they have really cool looking ones. Charles Whelan goes boom when you got it. <laughs> Aren't they Thank still you. selling Sega Master Systems there? They might be. Or Genesis. I doubt they would be Sega Master Systems. But what was the last Sega Master System game released in Brazil? It was really late, like, so crazy. Let's see. Hmm. 2015, they were still selling Sega Master Systems. That's crazy. But is it that crazy? Because I remember, like, not even that long ago. Remember in, like, the middle of malls? They would have displays and have, like, Famicom NES clones? Like, I don't remember maybe that. Like, maybe, but... like, ten years ago. And they just have them on display and they're a composite out. So that's kind of the same. It is basically yesterday, yeah. Oh, 2019, still being sold in Brazil, so that's even closer. That's three years ago. All, almost half of all Sega Master Systems were sold in Brazil. By Tech Toy. I remember that name. Okay, let me, I've got closer. Tech Toy, Sega Master System. Let's see if they're still selling them. Website. Oh, it's not in English. Oh, they sell a lot of stuff. 
Gamer Consoles. Okay, well that's in English. Oh my god, they still sell the Sega Master System! They do. There's no cartridge slot though. Does that really count then? That doesn't count. There's lots of consoles in North America like that. Unless it could be modded maybe, but no, that doesn't count. That's just uh, 132 games in one. Oh, uh, the Lynx. Well, it's possibly to do with the cartridge, possibly to do with pin alignment, with the um, with the Lynx. Um, what is this called? El Cheapo SD card, SD cart. Um, but um, we might be able to solve it. Hopefully that's the issue. If not, I brick this <laughs> accidentally. That's the issue if I can't solve it uh, some other way. Um, but it's like because of the overprint on the edges of the El Cheapo SD card, they need to be um, just whittled down a bit so the pins align better. And if that doesn't work, then I bricked it because that's a, quite a possibility because there is um, a power issue while it was loading up the firmware, which is bad, obviously. Don't half load firmware. <laughs> but I also have a reprogrammer, what is it, S ST-Link, um, that I can use if that fails. So there's way out, way, multiple levels of ways out that uh, could possibly recover it. So I'm going to be doing that tomorrow Why is this so and <laughs> if it doesn't oh, work then I may if all those things don't work I may have to postpone the links broadcast which is the last broadcast before we leave for Burning Man Yay. Burning Man oh yeah just picked up this knifey forky set <laughs> for eating. very cool so it's got a fork on one side. Let me just see, make sure you guys can see this. No, you can't really see this. Um, anyway, I'll do this. It's got a fork on one side, a spoon on the other, and a knife that... Yeah, three. Nice. Oh, slowly, slowly. I'm It'll so get sorry. Easier. <laughs> so the knife, the spoon, comes out like that. Yeah. And then the fork also comes you, out Charles. like that. So you can put the that away so it's a fork mm. and then you can put the fork away and put it bring out the knife too it's, very, oh. it's actually a very sharp knife so you have to pull out the fork to separate them oh yeah and it also comes apart mm -hmm. and it's a full fork mm -hmm. and a full spoon and also a full knife too isn't it or maybe not no you don't need a fork and a spoon at the same time so the other one's a knife or a spoon and then the fork is separate it's really cool my cousin-in-law carries one of those everywhere he goes yeah emergent <laughs> emergency eating of course <laughs> you never know when you run into food that's true i guess if you go over to dinner at somebody's house, you don't have to use one of their cutlery. You will have to wash it before you put it in your oh. pocket again. Or just lick Let's it clean. Lick it clean. Lick it like a kitten licking a bowl. For only 5,000 points, you too can help two starving cats. That's true, you can stop their whining, but they only have five more minutes to dinner. Is that a good idea to spoil their dinner? They, their dinner can be spoiled. I, yeah. I'll allow it. Okay. Mother will allow it. <laughs> mother, mother cat will allow it. If anybody wants to spoil a cat, you want another one? No, I'm drinking this. Okay. Because uh, it'll be the last see. cat spoiler. It's treat Chinese time. Yum, 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 oh, yum, yum, yum. what's that? It's treat time. Oh, the cats. The cats are going crazy. What's that? What? 
You want to ring the bell? You're like, they're more like saying, bring out the bell so we can tell you when to feed us, human. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, there's your bells. I'm gonna watch carefully. Oh, that was a strong opening hit by Sprite. No, you don't get one. You haven't rang it yet. Oh, you got one. Oh, three in a row. Good one. And Atari takes his away. Thank you, Ivory Tower Collections, for feeding these starving starving cats. Starving kitties. Okay, I need to... Come on, I need to hear some rings. You gotta earn them. That's a solid ring. You're just slightly, like, lightly pawing it. Oh, that did get a ring. Okay, let's try some of these tiger stripey ones. Oh, my goodness. Atari, do you not understand you have to ring it? Atari's getting confused. Atari, come here. To ring it. Ring it. Hmm. The spray comes over and rings Atari's bell. Oh, Atari's getting mad. Sprite's just decimating Atari. There you go. I don't know. They get whatever bell. <laughs> Is that you? Do you give them specific bells? Um, I, I, just, I sometimes give, well, the black and white one to black Sprite, one? but it doesn't really matter. Oh, oh both of you bring it. Okay. Both hitting it. Two. You know you only get one treat. Tari, ring the bell. Ring it. Ring it. Come on. <laughs> Sprite's like, I rang the bell. Oh, that was so weak, but you did ring it. There you go. Now you're understanding. You have to ring the bell. Okay, I have three more. Okay, you have to not eat them so fast, Sprite. Oh my god, he stepped backwards onto it. Oh, really? Yeah, you like went backwards. There you go. Okay, one more. I know who's going to get it. There you go. There, you're both eating while I took them away. Very fair. Very, very fair. Nobody's angry. No angry Except cats. Atari. Uh -oh. It's like I want more. Wash my hands of this stink. Stink. Nope. All right. So sorry, this is not the most exciting part of the show. <laughs> but she's gonna win! Aren't you? It's taking me forever! It like, <laughs> seems like it should be simple, but it's not! Oh my god, putting these together is just a nightmare. Uh, that looks like... That? No, I don't think it will. No? No, it won't, because it... No. So it has things in both corners. No. 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 Awful. Foot cam? What is this, Nickelodeon? Ha ha ha. No. <laughs> Screen switch. It would be cool because I've not seen the original game get beaten before. I haven't. I, I've definitely never beaten it. Tanya's God, beaten better. it three times. Yeah. That was when she was a baby. I was a baby. A just baby like this kitten. little kitten. Just a little baby. With a fresh brain. <laughs> fresh yeah, new brain. Fresh, sparkling new brain. <laughs> <sighs> oh, giving up on the... It's like they're, they're making the these D. complex patterns and I don't think they're fitting. Like... Only got three. I did better last time. My you hand did. is hurting too. Okay. I'd so, say I'd, I'd I'd help, but you have to win it on your own. If you know, oh, let me know. That one. Oh uh, no, never mind. <laughs> I 
was like, flip it, nah. Every tower says, I own the mm. Wii and 3DS version. I was able to beat the 3DS one, but never really played the Wii version. Mm. Are they both the same? Because the Wikipedia implies that those were put out the same time. Yes, pretty much. Okay. It's like I can find a couple that fit together, but then they don't quite look... Right. Like nothing else seems to match with it. So hard. Mm. The colors are really just there to throw you off. Yeah. What about that that square I've one? I've tried it with a bunch of stuff already. Yeah. Um Cause it's pretty much half the screen. Well, yeah, but you could have something crazy in the in-between of that. You can. So, yeah, like anything with But you can rule out a lot of stuff. Missing. Because it can't have things in opposite corners. Yeah, so like that one. Yeah, that could work. not fully down the middle. Then there's this one which does fit it perfectly, but right. I I'm you, suspicious that it's a decoy. Yeah, yeah, like that doesn't fit. I don't know how I grab that one. Doesn't it? If you flip it. Oh, maybe. Down. Like this? Ooh, no it doesn't. No, that's, no, that's not going to work at all. So like this will, but I kind of wonder if it's meant to go in a different Ooh, way like so that? I'm going to leave that because yeah, it does it fit the other way mm. that Ooh, one technically that one really looks like it fits doesn't it? there is yes so let's just hold on to that there for a second yeah Make a practice one in the bottom. There. You have to go back and find them when you screw it up. Yeah, that's the problem. So. It's only four spots. Oh, yes, yes. Very nice. Oh, is this it? Have you done it? I think you might have. Yay! It's a slow process. Yay! Another one. Another one bites the dust. Yay! Kill, the, kill those pieces. Yes. All right, we're slowly getting there. Four Halfway. out of way. Four out of nine. More. Oh, Is under half. Nine. <laughs> Charles Whelan says, "Yay!" Yay! Thank you, Charles. I need all the encouragement I can find. That's right. Okay, there's another weirder one. Sometimes easier. You know that UD is is one of those two pieces that are that green one and the one above it. Has something to do with the UD. One of them. The UD what? Remember you make the U and the D. Oh yes. That you scrapped. I think it that's... works with one of those pieces. So it fits so perfectly, but I don't know which one. That's fine. That. MK Smith says I've always found this part too hard to complete. This is the hardest part of the game, it is. It seems. And luckily, I got to this point with a Very fair early. amount of time. She solved everything. She's right beside the end. She just needs to do the puzzle. Ugh, that's, that's it. That doesn't fit, does it? No. Not that way, anyway. Just like something square here. Yeah, very square. Look for a square in that quadrant. There, there. Oh, 
That's a square one. Nice. That is suspiciously square, and it fits in the lower left. Ooh, I like it. Mm, that's a little weird, though. Mm. I would look for that round, round piece or that triangle next. Mm -hmm. Probably the triangle is easier because that's not going to be divided into two, probably. Oh no! Don't assume anything. <laughs> Devious game. That looks. Uh, no, I don't think so. No. Mm, no. First time chat. Outlet Maui. Hi, homebrew. Is this the first or second impossible mission? This is the first one for the Commodore 64. That. What? No. Oh, that looks so good, though. Um, it was put out in a lot of systems. Oh, what? What just happened? There? Did you flip it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And do those... No. They look like they kind of should go together, but they don't. They kind of do, because the top left, right? Yeah, it's kind of kind of crazy. Anyway. Yeah. Tanya, in her childhood, beat this three times. <laughs> so... And now... We're trying to see if we can... Uh... Decades and decades and decades. Thank you, decades thank you. Decades and decades now. Five years later, she's back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> to defeat it one last time. What do you mean that doesn't overlap? That totally looks like it should. Doesn't oh, it? Oh, it does. What? Oh, no. The, it sticks out a bit longer. Oh, come on. Not looking for that triangle? Get that triangle. It's the key. Going the wrong way again? Just... <laughs> Just go in one direction to the end. Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh, it has all the bright parts. Yes! <gasps> Yay! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. One more done. It's actually an L, not an I. Uh, MK Smith, I had to skip out earlier for a bit. You discussed upcoming Impossible Mission 3 yet? Oh! There it is. Wasn't. Did I read about that? There's an impossible mission three? Yeah, what system are they making that for? What? What do you mean it can't? Oh, I have it flipped. <laughs> I'm like, no, it can't. Oh, thank goodness. So for an Atari? Yeah, we're getting there. All right. What's it for? Oh, the C64. That's true. Yeah. No, I didn't talk about that. Let's see. Impossible Mission 3 announced for Commodore 64, March 2nd. Who is doing it? Let's see. Don't autoplay. Oh, very nice graphics. You have a gun? Okay. Artistic direction. For those unfamiliar with it, we imagine many given the time past, Impossible Mission series was way, very popular at the time, despite... Is this written by a computer? <laughs> Despite the very high difficulty, okay. not too much for those times. Oh, this is terrible. Of course, who would have expected the announcement of a third official chapter after all these years? Uh, every sentence is a question mark. Every, especially for the system that bought the series to success. It should be noted this game is made in with agreement with the copyright holders. Oh. With Epics? Who owns Epics? Didn't... I swear I read the other day that a Christian company owns Epics. Like a... really? Yeah, Christian game development company. Artichoke? It probably is Artichoke. There are always nine letter words, and how many nine letter words are there? Several incredible facts have happened re... No, this is written like a, as a computer or in a... translated. Have happened recently in the world of video games. Just think of the launch of Wing Jam... Oh, I'm going to read a different article. This is not good. Okay, so posted on February 25th nowhere. by Smila Story. Some exciting news, we have been offered the chance to do an official sequel to Impossible Mission from the rights holders. So while we finish Terrestrial 1, I will be designing and doing the assets for Impossible Mission 3. More info 
when I have the chance to get designs done. So let's see what they've tweeted recently about that. Maybe that was the latest. Oh, no, April. Oh, my God. Not much has been done. Impossible Mission 3, 8, Can April. Can you stop? The piece you need is there. Is it? Oh, no, I destroyed it all. destroyed something? I can get back there. Designing continues. Here's some a look at some rooms using different multicolor set for each one. It... It's pretty much the original Impossible Mission. It's got, the them out. it's got the zappy robots. It's got some flying robots. You've got a gun. It's still got the lifts. It's still got that big black ball. Looks like it's pretty faithful to the original. Just a lot better graphics. Not really better. Just different graphics. They're all like the same. It's crazy. Looks like April 8th is the newest update. So, let's see if their web page has anything different. No, that just goes to something else. It goes to another game. Status 1499. Is that the one I'm looking at? Because that's the right... One five. I think that's older than the one I'm looking at. Yeah, level graphics. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Up, up, up. What? Let's talk about that one. Stop! Yeah. What? Stop. <laughs> There. Which one? The yellow or the blue? Oh, the yellow one goes... doesn't... no. Never mind. Down? It's, it's a green, green one. one. Well, that, that does help, actually. This one? Colors. Down. Press down or go down? That one? I'm confused. Keep going. That's the end. I'm very confused. Directions from chat for puzzle games. Never a good combo. It's very difficult. No. At least these have colors. That helps a lot. So you can go there. There's lots that go together. Because that's what I had before. But I don't know where... Is that piece exist? That piece doesn't exist. Don't wipe out that corner one in the lower left. Oh, okay. The lower left? This one? Yeah. But that's just one piece. So there's diagonals. Yeah. On the top. Maybe the Oh, go back one. No, never mind. Oh, lower right. Oh, lower right. Okay. So that exists somewhere? So we're looking for a a curved and they said it's a blue one. Oh what everyone's confusing me they're all saying different things they are oh don't make that noise it is time to feed them though oh that's it that's the one the green one. Oh, you're right okay flip it upside thank down thank you now go feed the cat thank you thank you Thank you, chat. My goodness. Get rid of this and start over. Get in there. Thank you. <laughs> Be here for another hour. Oh, my goodness. I've done this one already. I don't know.
my god, it's past 11. <laughs> How did it get so late? Only gets easier, does it? <laughs> I seem to be making things that there's no solution to. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's little three puzzles. This should be easier. I'm tired. It, it does seem impossible. Impossible mission. Impossible puzzles. It's like things go together, but I don't think they do, and that's what makes it frustrating. It does get easier. Yeah. Bit by bit. What? Yay! Wait, that fit? <laughs> what is going on? Find that piece. Find that piece. I don't believe any of these pieces exist. <laughs> they may not. these pieces exist how can they fit together oh there you go <laughs> <sighs> like I've never seen that oh there it is <laughs> <laughs> never seen that before in my life never seen that before in my life oh my goodness two more I'm just gonna get rid of this and start from scratch again <laughs> two more eight pieces left <sighs> easy peasy famous last words I know I just second guess myself all the time how that you could just throw them on the board and they'll just fit together because there's... See? Yeah. Look at that. There's <laughs> only eight pieces left. Ugh, it should be easy at this point. Oh, look at that. Easy, easy. Friends. Ugh. There. Is that it? Yep. 100% that's it. It's even the right color. There you go. I've seen that piece. I think I've seen that piece too. I think it might even be blue. Can't she finish it under five hours? It's pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, you only took an hour to do the puzzles? See, see, here's the thing. <laughs> With playing this game, it, it takes a lot of skill just to get to the puzzles. It is, yes. And so... <laughs> I almost feel rushed now, like, get through, get through, get through. Three minutes left. Three minutes? Yeah, you want to beat it under five hours, No, right? I, I just want to beat it. <laughs> don't, don't, don't say such things. I'll probably get zapped at the end. <laughs> going down. Can you imagine? Don't pause. Keep going. What are you oh doing? God, I'm, stop <laughs> it. It's not your game. <laughs> Back off. Did I put that in already? Not that one, no. There it is. That's the last piece right on the top. Da, da, da. Artichoke! Right That's what it is. <laughs> Here we go. Get Don't zapped. get zapped. So he turns around. No zapping, no zapping, no zapping. <laughs> no zapping. Go, go, go. All right, are you ready? Everyone ready? Quick, under five no. minutes. No. No. Mission accomplished. Woo! Congratulations. <laughs> Yay, it doesn't say how much time you had left. That's funny. I guess, yeah, you got all the points, so... Oh, she did it! High five! Woo! Just in time for bed! <laughs> <laughs> just in time for bed. 
Well, I'm glad I played it the second time and didn't give it give it up. That's right. I'm gonna put my initials in there. Now I can really enjoy my lukewarm cider. <laughs> Friday night cider. 14585. <sighs> Does that have something to do with uh, the time you have left? The score? 3685 seconds remaining. There you oh, go. Oh, okay. Seconds remaining. How does that translate? 14585. I wonder what the the high score is for this uh I I'm not saying I'm anywhere near it. I no. think they do it in 30 30 minutes, something like that. The the speed runs. I think those are fast forwarded oh. though. I don't know. Thank you RoboCat. Very happy. <laughs> Let's see. I I knew it was within reach. Very, very upsetting that first round though. Just having like the last puzzle piece in the last room and it just being out of reach. Like this one, I, I didn't need to backtrack at all, really. So. Yeah. Highest point score on, oh, Guinness Book of World Records. 31,635. 31,000. So they might, I, what does it say how For the time? NADS in Australia. Let's wow. see if it does say the time. No. No. Yeah, that's that's a very fast score. Yeah. Uh, it's added. On highscore.com. Yeah, yeah. nads. Uh, so that's added another 15,000 seconds. <laughs> well, you're third. Sorry? On highscore.com. It's only four scores. Left, well, yeah, that's not very much. Just be. I still had over 60 three. minutes left. Yeah, not, not. Well, I'm glad because I needed the time for the puzzle. <laughs> Yeah. I I swear the ten year old me when I did it, I flew through those puzzles. I was yeah. like boom 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 boom, and I did it very very quickly. Um, starting another mission. <laughs> now I have to do Mission Impossible Two. No, I remember Mission Impossible Two. I tried it again after many years, and I found it a lot harder than this one. It must be more oh, in my muscle yeah. memory this game. So it's not a terrible score. Yeah. Like all the ones I can find. I think it's I think it's good just, just to, to finish the game. It is. That's an accomplishment <laughs> in itself. I'm happy. I'm very happy. St I, who would have thought? Over 60 minutes. That's really good, yeah. actually. Um, you didn't die as much, and you got... Uh, oh, I died much less this round. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But that was fun. Thank you. Thank you for watching, the people who yes. stuck around. Thank I appreciate you. it. I, uh, I, need, I need like a nap now. <laughs> <laughs> Mental stress. Yeah. Yeah, it just kind of pushes you, and I'm like, I could do it, and I can do it in less time. I could die less. <laughs> I I know when I used to play as a kid, I used to really try not to not freeze the robots, and well, I could yeah. I could do it. I could do it maybe using three freezes, three or four. Um, but there were a few rooms that you're just like, oh, it's really, really like it's pretty much feels impossible at least to to finish the room without freezing the robots i wonder if anyone has because some of the rooms some I rooms don't think are some are possible i don't think they are yeah but i could be wrong anyway more c64 in the future well you uh, we never know <laughs> oh yeah i i love the c64 and there's lots of really good homebrew i mean i'm not going to add it into rotation but yeah. we'll do it once in a while um so we did impossible mission well, you did Impossible Mission. Um, hopefully next Friday, before we go... Actually, it's not even the last day. I could postpone the Atari Lynx special one more episode. But hopefully my Atari Lynx is up and running mm. um, by next Friday. But if not, we'll do it on the Tuesday or way after. Um, and so the next show is on Tuesday... Probably do a 2600. I've got linemen uh, up on the docket. I'll see if I can find some other 2600 games. Mm -hmm. New ones. It's summertime. Everybody's not developing. They're outside. <laughs> They're not holed up in their caves, mm -hmm. typing away at things. Um, we have uh, five more episodes of the 45th anniversary um countdown oh yeah for classic Get, still getting games through it. yeah there's three more 1983 parts and then it's three um, more 1983 that's a lot of games and then it is 1984 85 and 86 to 92 after that 
So we're we're over the hill at that point. <laughs> we're yes. Yeah. Yep. We're after the after the crash. After the crash. So we'll have to schedule those when mm. it works because we have two weeks, one and a bit before weeks we're off before on we leave. Yeah. So we just need to do three mm. in the time of two weeks, which is not bad. Mm. And then we're going to do the two afterwards, which is after the crash. Okay, the after the crash will be after. Those that are, makes sense. Those are 50 each. Oof. But okay. we'll do those on the weekend. Okay. Um, that'll be interesting. Um, let me get rid of that. Mm -hmm. oh, actually, I feel the chat up here. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the big thing is the Atari Lynx special. Hopefully, we'll get that done before we leave. But mm -hmm. I'll uh, I'll see if I can get it up and running. Uh, that's it. It's a long, long day of gaming. So. Yep. Five and a half hours of gaming. I was gonna die. <laughs> When's Five start? hours with breaks. Yeah, it could have ended at nine. I could have stopped at my first attempt, and I just couldn't no. do it. No. If you have it in you, you gotta power through it <sighs> and get to the end. I know. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much. Yes. And uh, thank you, Charles Whelan, Ivory Tower Collection. Thank you. RC Seven E, Cubanismo, Robocat, MK Smith. Um. Um. Same people. Outlet Maui. Outlet Maui. Uh, lots of the same people giving advice and chats. Bitoko, Bitoko. yeah, at the top old, old style. style. Huge ass. Uh, and that's it for the scrolls. And Robocat yes. at the bottom. Thank you. Yes, enjoy your weekend as well. Hopefully it's not too hot mm -hmm. or too cold, wherever you are. Yeah. And uh, we, yeah, thank you. It was fun seeing Tanya rocking that game. <laughs> It was. For once, I didn't yeah. have to play for hours and hours. Yeah, you had to fill the silence. So. Yeah. I did. <laughs> yes. Not effectively. Uh, um, oh, very well. So have very a good well. weekend. Uh, it's unlikely we'll do a show on the weekend. We're pretty busy. No, it's very unlikely yeah. we'll do a show on the weekend. So probably be a couple next week. Okay. Um, and for the for the after dark, I'm talking about. Yeah, for the for, for the extras. Dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for the extras. Right. But that's it for now. Um, and have a good night. And yeah. have a good weekend. Yeah, and we'll see weekend. you guys soon. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.